Chilling 95.3 morning up, with EJ up, and Nikki. Dr. Shaw. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, we got a couple questions for you. Absolutely. Because you are the authority on, on you know, plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And we came across this, you know, bizarre story. It's uh, about... Well, there's a lot of stuff going on about surgery, plastic surgery. Yeah, um, lately. I sp- now with Miss Argentina or ex Miss Argentina dying after a butt implant, how popular are those? Yeah, um, you know they're very popular um, actually right now. A lot of people are getting them done. Um, I think the important thing to remember about her story is that she didn't really have a butt implant done. From what I read, the latest stories are saying that uh, she had she had silicone or something injected into her buttocks. Okay, not considered kosher. <laughs> no, oh, really? Jay, that's what I was wondering about because I thought a butt implant was kind of like a hard jelly thing and nothing right. that you inject in your yeah. butt or that you would, I guess, inject in like a bag, like a breast implant. Exactly, a butt implant is um, pretty much almost the same as a silicone gel implant. It's a little bit more firm. Um, they're uh, FDA approved devices. They're known not to rupture. They keep all the silicone together in one place, whereas injecting the silicone can cause severe infections, tissue necrosis, and um, problems like that, and we don't do that in the United States. Oh, that's that's good to know. Yeah. 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 (laughs) That seemed odd. You know, I was also reading this story about Miss Argentina, and they're talking about how incredibly huge plastic surgery is in South America. It's huge. And in other countries, especially, I think, South America... Especially with Miss USA pageant, I mean Miss um, Universe, Universe, or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah, Miss World pageant. They always em- talk about these p- women that go through extensive plastic surgery in South America. I mean, how safe is it there? You no, know, here's the problem um, with South America. I mean, South America has some of the best surgeons um, out there, and in fact, a lot of our cosmetic surgery literature comes out of South America. But in South America, the regulations are not exactly the same as what we have over here. Um, to perform a surgery in the United States, you have to have it at an accredited facility. So, you know, the government actually comes out or a branch of the government or the, designation, the designees come out and make sure that you're having the surgery done at a good place and you're having it done by a certified individual. Whereas in Argentina, you know, I've heard so many stories. Patients come to my office. They go down there to get something done, and um, they go back for a follow-up a month later, and the whole clinic's gone. Ooh. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, wow. not good. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And so it's really kind of luck of the draw over there. So unless you um, know who you're going to or it comes, from, um, it comes from the American Society of Plastic Surgery website in, from Argentina, you've got to be really careful where you're going down there. Yeah, get your procedures done here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. A, is yeah. it cost a lot cheaper? Is that why a lot of people go to other countries to get plastic surgery? You know, it, it, it is a little cheaper, but the thing is that uh, once you factor in the cost of going back over there for the follow-up visit or um, even the cost of traveling out there. I think people try to combine it with a vacation sometimes, but it's just not the safe thing to do. Yeah, yeah it doesn't sound like a good idea at all. No. Right, <laughs> exactly. I'd rather have my doctor you right down the street. Like Miss Argentina. No, no, no. 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 And I, I wish, I mean, I wish I could see what a butt implant really looks <laughs> like before and after. I really do. I'm interested now. Well, you know where we because are. Because I didn't think they time. were as popular. <laughs> he says, come by any time. <laughs> uh, we'll I we'll show you the implants at the office. We have a whole set of them. In fact, Dr. Lee Hockey at our office, he designs butt implants. No really? kidding. Yeah. Yeah, he makes about a clay mold, and then he... Uh, he um, he has the clay mold sent to the company, and then they design the butt implant specifically for that person. Now, wow. just like a lot of women come in with pictures of their favorite celebrity nose, do women come in and say, <laughs> I want the J-Lo butt. Can you do it for me? All the time. They come in all the time, and we might not be able to get them the exact same <laughs> butt, you know, as of their body type, but we can, we can try to come pretty close. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, it sounds like more and more celebrities are doing plastic surgery, and not only that, they're admitting it. Right now, I'm reading an article about Cindy Crawford admitting that, yeah, I do Botox. Right. I mean, right. You, is that a good is that a good idea to admit it? So finally, people can look at these celebrities and say, you know what, you're not perfect. You do have to get a little help, just like we do. <laughs> or is yeah. right? I think it's good that they're being honest about it. I mean, it's. Um you know, for some of us, I mean, we look at these people and we can obviously tell that they've had some Botox or some fillers. And when they um, deny it, it makes everyone else feel like, well, how come they're so beautiful naturally? <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 And Botox isn't a big deal, right? That's pretty simple and easy. It's a, it's a quick office procedure. It just takes us about 
five minutes or so, we, um, you know, this is a tiny little needle, and we put a tiny, tiny little bit of the Botox in the very specific muscles, and you're on your way to work or back to your normal day. Oh, wow. Now, what's, how old's the youngest person that you've seen in your office to get Botox? Because my friend was getting them at 27, 6. <laughs> you know, I think we've seen some people in their 30s, but, I mean, they did have a, a real defined wrinkle in certain areas. I mean, you know, some people get a, uh, even younger people, we see them with a kind of a crease in their forehead or around their eyes a little bit. That's and, what and she it, got. Uh, yeah. The forehead. The forehead. She has yeah. this huge <laughs> indentation in her and, forehead. And a little crow's feet. Does that help little crow's feet, too? Yeah, it's it supposed totally to. does. Yeah. yeah. But how good is Botox for you? I hear it's still injecting poison into your body. Yeah, Botox is um, a very minute, tiny, controlled quantity of um, botulinum toxin. And, um, you know, poisons are only poisons if you take too much of it, you know. And um, the tiny quantities that we use is, is very specifically directed just to the cells around where it's injected. So it's really not a poison. It just relaxes the muscles that are around it. So it's oh. very safe. It's, it's proven to be safe by the FDA. Basically, don't become Michael Jackson. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, stay clear of that. <laughs> Too much of anything is not good. Well, hey, Dr. Shaw, thank you for joining us for Butt Talk this morning. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, talk to and- you later, you guys. You guys are doing great out there. Thank you. Thank you. You're Bye. More of EJ and Nikki are coming up on Kelly 95.3. Good morning, people.